passenger um review the mirror. Review. Mm-hmm. And he was like, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna keep going, but I was like, nah. Hey, sweet mates, what's up? <laughs> We're coming to you with another, another uh, review today. We're going to be talking about, what are we talking about? Oh, Lovebirds. Have y'all seen that movie? I know y'all seen it. All right, let's get into it. Now you can start off with what you want to talk about. Oh, the start of the movie, it was like, I love the start of the movie. It was like, um, like a honeymoon phase. And then you just jump into later down their life and they're fighting. I'm like, ah, that joke was so funny. And then like, <laughs> The jokes that they had. Let me see what I wrote down. <laughs> but to your point, I actually really like the fact that they depicted a real relationship. Like it wasn't a lot of these shows, unless they want to illustrate the person as like a douchebag, they have them all attentive. Like, what are you saying? Blah, blah, blah. She was on her phone. I was like, that is the truth. <laughs> and I like how they met like it was literally a one night stand like and then it was like so you wanna so we'll be oh, to do... <laughs> oh, oh okay <laughs> cause she wasn't sure if he wanted to go mm-hmm. for lunch or breakfast like I like that part I was like wow now that was real <laughs> first off I really liked I, I don't know his background. Um, I don't want to get it wrong. But um, whatever his background is, I like that it was an interracial, like, people of color relationship. Because he, to me, he was fine. I was like, maybe I should explore, like, that side. Because I was like, he's he was very attractive to me. Their ages, I was a little confused about. I wasn't sure, you like... You think he looks older? He did, but I'm thinking like 35 ish. Mm-hmm. So I wasn't sure uh, what age they were. Because to me, I was kind of like thinking, well, it makes sense the way they were behaving towards each other, like quirky. And yeah, yeah we both have jobs. And yeah. very we're real. just going to argue very about an amazing race. <laughs> I like that they didn't try to make him a uh, assimilated American in a sense. Like mm. they didn't try to make him that straight up American type of guy. So that's something working in IT by the way. Working mm-hmm. in IT computer science. <laughs> Those very boxed in roles. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I enjoy that. Um and well also his co cool star, Isa. Anything on Isa, I'll watch. Yeah. But I think um <laughs> we all will watch anything that Isa is in. That's why we didn't do too much talking because we loved her so mm-hmm. I mean, that's that. yeah. <laughs> and like I feel like she's consistent with the whole awkward black girl thing which I really like because it shows the dimensions of us because so I was like girl true. who we watched her maze of race let me go check that out <laughs> <laughs> I did not know Why that seen amazing race? no <laughs> I still haven't oh. you, okay. you watched it yeah it's pretty cool Oh wow, no, I've never seen it. Especially like the um the narration. I like that part. Maybe like, and now this couple is going to the whatever. Who's gonna get there first? Uh-oh. It seems like these people took a detour. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna check it out because it seemed interesting. So I like the part where after he hit the guy and then the um the FBI? What was he? Police or FBI? Anyway, that guy, he jumped in and he was like, I'm a police officer. Get in the back. They didn't ask any questions. <laughs> no, I was say that. They didn't ask for no ways, just vibes. <laughs> they were just like, oh, okay. We're on a speed chase. Okay. <laughs> Get him. Oh, if you go this way, you'll catch him. Help him they out, right? <laughs> was so funny that part, and they were—they you can see in their face that they were scared, but what they were actually saying was just them being funny, and I like that. Yeah, and <laughs> then I was thinking, were they just doing that because, like, they just got in this argument, and then that happened, so they were just like, 
well, like, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you really can know what you would do in that situation unless you're in it. So it, I guess it was supposed to be like adrenaline spark because like at the end of the day, it's just like you're not thinking about your relationship just ending after you hit somebody. You know, mm-hmm. and then you saw their moods and everything change when they realized, no, he's trying to kill this guy. <laughs> like, every time, the first time he hit him, it was like kind of still smiling, but then like faces sunk a little. Then he ran him over. It was like, but then the, the third time he ran him, they were like, what's really good? Like, <laughs> where accessories to murders? Like, <laughs> I like that. It was just, I don't know, like, at first, like, um, when Rain was like, oh, we should watch Lovebirds, I was kind of like, because you told us to watch that months ago. I was like, mm-hmm. Issa Rae and a <laughs> comedy, like, drama, <laughs> like, romance thing? No, I'm not watching that. But watching it, I would definitely watch this again. Like, it was so funny like Issa. laugh Anything out loud with Issa check <laughs> yeah it was good really I did watch it again so yeah I'll this be. was my second time as well what's her name Anna Camp she's in everything everything y'all don't know who Anna Camp is I've seen her but it's I don't think and then in almost every movie I've seen she shows up like some random person just like in her, the- yeah yeah because like, I was going to say her storyline was irrelevant to me. Exactly. I was like, That's we could have did it without Edie. <laughs> like, what Edie was she and there? her husband who got burned. I think, I think her story was important because it leads you to the, the little cult place. I can't remember the name of it. Okay, yeah. It's a hard word to spell. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> like, also, I want to say Sokovian. Sokovia or something. Oh. That sounds right to me. Somebody, let us know what this is called in the comments and put the the phonics of it, okay? Thank you. <laughs> Do y'all think he acted on the part of getting kicked by the horse correctly? I didn't. I feel like if a, a horse kick you, like, you're out for at least two days. Like, he was walking normal, running. And I guess maybe adrenaline, but it was also like a horse running. kicked you. Well, then the movie would be over. <laughs> <laughs> she did look at the box. <laughs> That's true, but to your point, I was kind of like, chest, though. it kicked him in his like. I felt like if he would have been like gasping for air a little bit for a while, then it would have like played it out better. Mm-hmm. But like, like nothing like, broke, not even Arab, nothing. He had, oh yeah, you're right. And then you're she right. gave him Neil Sport. <laughs> <laughs> out of all the things you go to start to get him deals for. right <laughs> you know that scene when they were in there the, the cashier was like like <laughs> why did you not just bring this up before putting this on are you crazy honestly <laughs> if it was me i kind of feel like if i was gonna do all that i probably was just gonna walk out the store take the test yeah, i didn't get why they paid for it either and it don't make sense you already, they you already thought you were a murderer. Of, but they weren't, that, I think that's the point. They weren't those type of people. Like, yes. The we, fact that they yes, accomplished to a murderer answer the phone at the dining matter? table. Exactly. We're accessories to murders. We're not criminals. <laughs> did the store not have a bathroom or a place where they could change? The Wait, where did they do it? They did it in the store, right? That is in, in the employee the section. Oh, yeah. No, Issa. What's what's the character name? Le- Leilani. Leilani changed clothes in the middle of the store. Then they yeah. went to the back and Jabar and put Neo Spora on Jabron. <laughs> That's another thing I really liked about this movie, especially for us, because we're not good with names. They it was bicycle. It was mustache. <laughs> they barely said uh, Leilani and. Jabron. So I was like, oh, I love that. They, they barely, barely said it except when they shouldn't have said it. When? <laughs> <laughs> After you're being accused of murder, you're going to say, Jabron, where are you running to? 
I liked the girl who was calling 911. It was an actual, like, it was necessary. If you see someone get killed, everyone's going to call 911. But I liked the way that they played it off like she was a Karen, sort of. But she was <laughs> actually doing what was right. So that was funny. <laughs> I feel like that's what they would do in real life. Because at all the people, because the area they, they were in, it didn't seem like, it was, it looked gentrified. So it made sense of why she said she just so happens to be African American. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and they n- never said what he was. Did you see how they kind of and he's also a person of color? Like <laughs> like they never gave his background. Yeah, they really didn't want to seem racist. Mm-hmm. And I really liked how random his thoughts were because that really made him seem like a real person because in movies they like to stick to such a script that I'm just like this was everyday life and I liked it this is not everyday life (laughs) I would not be jumping in the backseat if somebody asked me for my car I take it you a cop take it true they really didn't have to go along on the ride that is true so just in case you're not a cop in the back yeah. But I think it was so because most of the time, think about it, if you just hop out like here's the car, it's like you can now say like I stole the car versus you in the passenger seat, you in the back seat. I mean, of course. You didn't get kidnapped now, though. Okay. You know? okay, keep that in the back of your head for now, but if you get in that situation, you just really never know what you're gonna do. I'm not hopping in the back. Keep the keys. But he's a white man and there's still people of color. And he said he's a cop with a gun. Well, they didn't know he had a gun, but the assumption there is he has a gun. Yeah, keep the keys. And well, I'm anything happening, out, I'm you stole out my car. He ran the man over instead of shooting him if he had a gun, because he only pulled it out to point it at uh, Leilani and Jabron. Yeah. In the beginning, he seemed torturous to me. Yeah. Like it he, was just... he, that was overkill. He went over that guy like five times, and I was just like, I think he did. Like <laughs> <laughs> he saw them leg. That's what happened. I, I when I watched again, he saw the legs moving the passenger um review, the review. Mm-hmm. and he was like, oh okay. Mm, 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 mm. I was like. <laughs> Yeah, like he just went in, and then at the end, when you figure out like his trauma has to do with another person, like yeah, I think I missed that part. Wait, hold up, the person he ran over is not the person who he said betrayed him. He said Siobhan, Siobhan, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, the cult. Yeah. So Siobhan's not the person who was on the bicycle? I don't know. Anyways, that's not important. (laughs) That's Tom. That's Tom or bicycle. Oh. Am I the only one who... Okay, so the scene when they went to that... Was it a college house with the young... The frat boys that they saw I didn't think... So when I was watching it, I was like, there's no way they're going to get out of that place. Like, this is it. They're going to (laughs) die. This is all they're going to jump out the window and then be like, that was dumb. But that that was my favorite scene. <laughs> that was my favorite scene. <laughs> and that scene, though, was she barefooted, stepping on glass? Like, that that annoyed me. I was like, didn't she just take off her shoes? Why is she walking so normal on glass? Like, um, yeah, true. Was I it like she used to take off her shoes, though. No, mm-hmm. she he helped her into... I thought when she was climbing into the window, I thought he was going to lift her over the glass but he just helped her down and she was like you hear any glass and she's just walking home and I'm like <laughs> <laughs> can't think of everything true oh but th- did you guys remember when they actually went to her friend's party um so there's a part where she was talking to her friend can't remember her name and she said you and whatever your fiance now is have the perfect life have an active sex life my friend said no I just post those pictures because my ex follows me (laughs) what do y'all think about that she doing too much why aren't they blocked (laughs) that's what I was thinking 
She obviously not over him. She's still posting. And wasn't she the one that got engaged? Mm hmm. I just think that that shows us how people in their real life try to make it seem like they have this perfect happy life, but they're not even actually trying to have a perfect happy life. Mm -hmm. Not even trying to live. Like you focus on these two people instead of who shouldn't even be important anymore. LeBron kind of earlier they were talking about the phones and stuff and he kind of said like that's not real life mm -hmm. and, she, and when she was talking to her friend she was like yeah because on Instagram girl <laughs> mm -hmm. and I like the scene right after that where Keith was like yeah she talks about you all the time and she, he was like she talks about me all the time <laughs> <laughs> and did you see how he because he believes did she and Keith did before? I can't remember. No, I think he just got the vibe that they were into each other. Yeah, so because he thought that Keith and Leilani were into each other, did you see him try to pretend to be all smart while speaking to Keith? But he was saying, Roy G. Biv, like, so. <laughs> <laughs> but I really actually liked Debron, like his comedy, because I hate loud, over-exaggerated comedy. So the way how they had comedy, I really liked it. I like that too. Because mm -hmm. it's not, all these other things, they be extra. Like you, you got to do something crazy for it to be funny. And it is funny, but it's like, you, you got to try really hard. Mm -hmm. But this just felt like easy. Mm -hmm. Easy, cheesy comedy, some of it. <laughs> Yeah. I really want it to be a sequel. Like, this is something where I could watch sequels to. Because, like, at the end where they were, like, one year later and they were doing The Amazing Race, I would be like, I would love to see a movie of them just doing that. Like, it was that, really yeah. interesting. That makes sense. I, yeah. Amazing Race would be a good, like, part two. Because then I wouldn't have to actually watch Amazing Race. But I'll... So would y'all want the sequel to be what led up to the amazing race or that race Ooh. itself so kind of like them training for it and then them doing it mm -hmm. I think yeah, they that's a good idea for, i just felt like i'm just gonna say that you know based on the movie it was like okay life is short let's be spontaneous oh well i remember you talked about the amazing race let's just sign up for it so i want to see like them doing the amazing race and the fights because the commentary was like they um move back a spot or something like that because they were fighting or something. So <laughs> I want to see the amazing race. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I just felt like the only conflict that they had in their relationship is she wanted more spontaneity and he was just like textbook. And I'm like, yeah. girl, you knew who he was. Well, then again, when they met, it was spontaneous. True. So I guess mm -hmm. she just thought it would stay like that. <laughs> I feel like people who are, I don't want to say overly spontaneous, but every decision and activity they do is mostly never planned. You can't expect someone who isn't like that to do that every day. So versus, so if you are like on a weekend, you want to go out, but you never like clearly say where we're going and make plans. You just want to get in a car and drive if the person's yeah. not like that that can be maybe a once a month thing every uh -uh. other week uh -uh. not an everyday thing mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I you agree. Be in macaroni and then now all of a sudden we, we in the middle of a five-star restaurant 20 different entrees and everything the schedule is on saturdays we go somewhere where we go it don't matter we going somewhere yeah, okay, I, so what I, happens I, if every time, every Saturday, we go somewhere, it's to the park? That's not spontaneous. That's it's what not, she's saying. She's saying if the other person isn't spontaneous, like, you can't expect them to want to be spontaneous every Saturday. Like, give them a plan at least one Saturday, and then three Saturdays spontaneous, or the other way around. Or you can choose any restaurant. At least they have an idea, okay, I'm choosing a restaurant, not... Oh, we could do whatever we want. Yeah. All right. 
Because he would have just sat there and edited that documentary for spontaneity. Spontaneity. Yeah. No, I'm trying to go out. <laughs> that cult thingy. Well, that's one who had a little mask on and everything, right? I think that was Literally, my favorite scene. First watch this movie. I almost cut it off at that point. I was like, whoa. <laughs> that yeah, that was a real whoa, but when they had them like identify like when they gave themselves up, like it was a quite I forgot what the question was asked, and they were the only one like standing up. Like, or something like that. That oh, was yeah, my favorite like, scene. Now take, now take up your mask and, <laughs> and I'm like, why do you think you have masks so you don't take it off? Exactly. <laughs> that was, I, I would have probably pulled it off like <laughs> Well, just a weird. Like, if you take off your mask a beat after everyone else, that's fine. Like, just see what everyone else is doing first. You don't belong there. <laughs> Did they all reach for it though? I'm trying to think. Oh yeah, they're... yeah everybody else touched it. They was like, "Oh my god, I'm gonna take it out. Oh my god." <laughs> That was the funniest scene for me. <laughs> that was like, oh, I didn't know how they were going to get out of there. And then the sirens came on and they were like, get out. I was like, oh. Yeah. Okay, safety. Okay. But it's crazy how the um, police... First of all, should she have answered that phone call? Like, you think <laughs> you're going to be arrested for murder and you're answering your phone like it's a regular Saturday. Like, what are you doing? But she she knew better than that. Well, we assume she. <laughs> <laughs> he said she the one that said we are people of color. It don't work out that way for us. So then she gonna answer an unknown phone call. Okay, girl. <laughs> then she tried to lie though. I'm like, oh she yeah, did. No. <laughs> and it was like your car ain't there or whatever the case may be. No, she. The lady was like, "Is there at the restaurant?" She was like, "Is there anything else you would like?" And then the lady was like, "Are you at a restaurant?" And then oh, yeah. the brown put the phone in the milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> and another thing that was so quirky about it is, you guys are murderers, but you're taking a lift everywhere. <laughs> I was like, "What? <laughs> Not even lift, lift air? You gonna share it?" <laughs> But that I mean, made- that, that's how they ended up resolving it at the end, though, because they had to lift again. And the, the, the actual murderer was the driver. So they were able to save themselves. Otherwise, they would have never found him, like the police. But the thing is, though, why are traffic cams grainy, first of all? One. Two, shouldn't police officers be able to tell each other, if I know you, I'm a police officer and I see you every day. I should be able, just me, I think I should be able to tell who you are, even on a grainy traffic cam. Because he was like, I'm a big deal there. If you're a big deal, I should know your walk, all of that. That part was confusing. That's the only, like, critique. I couldn't tell if he was a dirty cop and nobody knew he was dirty or he was like, like you said, like he was there, he was a big deal, but then he retired or got fired. That part wasn't clear. Yeah. To they me. made us think that what I got from it was he was a dirty cop, but I feel like he was too dirty for no one else. Like usually, someone else in your precinct knows that you're a dirty car, c- mm-hmm. cop because you usually have a partner who's riding with you, doing everything with you. So it was just like, uh, is he just living a double life? Like, are you a cop? And then you, it you, seemed you, like he came else? off um, very secretive. Like in it, like at the end, he was like. Mm-hmm don't trust anybody so that's why he was doing both he was scamming the the cult people and then killing the people that betrayed them so you know both of them are not doing what they're supposed to do and here you are playing both sides just to get money so yeah he was just a dirty person not even just a dirty cop but then if you're so if you're a dirty cop you're probably a dirty person so there's that and then at, at the oh, end, 
And then it was cool that after messing up the one, two, three, so many times at the end, they actually were synced. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> so it showed, it showed, it showed them time. having growth in their relationship, even though they were broken up. <laughs> I don't even feel like it was a real breakup because the whole time he kept saying, like, are we really broken up? Like, <laughs> like you wasn't just playing. <laughs> and that reminded me of like an old couple because it's like, <laughs> you're not being for real. Like, you're going to be back. <laughs> the part where he was like, um, can I have an alcohol? <laughs> yes. You know how many times we went to IHOP and I was like, y'all don't do mimosas? <laughs> <laughs> yeah and especially since they're open so late like what are we doing i hope <laughs> okay okay so for the story did you like the story or not i did same i'm gonna say yeah quirky i liked it so that's uh that's four yeses for a story hey um, the cast, the acting in a diversity. I've been told y'all anything with Issa, I love it. <laughs> but I, I also like the good. others too. Yeah, everybody was good. This was a great movie. And the I, setting. I don't think um, the setting needed anything special. So what they had was accurate for this movie. Yeah. Same. This is our first rating where everybody agreed unanimously. Yeah. I hope you agree too, but if you don't, please put it in the comments and let us know. See you later, sweet mates. You can Bye. stay, but the couch is mine. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I ain't playing.